Today I'm going to show you guys a couple of examples of how we can actually use JavaScript inside websites. And as you guys can see, I made a small demo just to kind of demonstrate at least three different ways we can use JavaScript. Now, do bear in mind that there's so many ways you can create stuff on websites with JavaScript. And this is just three of the different ways that you could possibly use it. So just to give you guys a feeling about what exactly it can do, I decided to make this small demo for you. Now, we will not be learning in this episode how to actually create this stuff. But like I said, it's just to give you guys a feeling of what we can actually do with it. Now, in later episodes, we will learn how to do this stuff, but not right now, since we're still pretty early on in the process of learning how to do JavaScript. So the first thing I want to show you guys is that I made this small interactive menu. And what it basically does is that when you click the closing button up here in the corner, it actually closes the menu. And this is something you can see if you go to YouTube, for example, you have your small, you know, menu in the top where you can actually open or close the subscriber list. And this works in a similar way. As you guys can see, I also decided to move the main content as I open and close this menu, but you don't actually have to do that. You can do whatever you want with JavaScript. I just chose to design it in this way just because I thought it looked cooler. Okay. Now, the second thing I want to show you guys is that with JavaScript, you can do stuff like adding elements to your website. So let's say you have a portfolio, like the one I made a demo of here, and you have many, many, many different cases that you can show off to people when they want to take a look at your portfolio. Now, sometimes it is not good for websites if you have a hundred diff different cases that they all load at once as soon as the website is loaded. So instead we can make this thing where it only loads a couple of them. And then when you click, for example, load more cases, it will actually pop up with some of the more cases you made in your past. Again, just an example of something you could do with JavaScript. Now, do bear in mind this is also responsive. So if I were to actually, you know, resize everything, you guys can see all the elements get moved around. Um, and that's just basic HTML styling. That has nothing to do with JavaScript. Now, the next thing that I want to show you guys, at least the last thing, is that I made this little input down here. And this is just a basic form that has just one input in it. And when I type inside this input, you guys can see that the text in here actually gets rewritten or like projected underneath the input. So we can see what we actually wrote down here. So we're gonna say hi there. And again, just a couple of examples of how JavaScript actually works. This right here, you cannot do with only HTML and CSS. CSS is not that great yet that we can do this stuff, even though CSS has actually taken over some tasks that JavaScript used to do in the past, um, such as hover effects and that sort of thing. You had to do it, do that with JavaScript in the past, but now you can do it with CSS. But CSS is not that powerful yet. So stuff like this, we would have to use JavaScript for. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little demo here of how to do a couple of things in JavaScript. And I can't stress enough that JavaScript is such a powerful language that you can do almost anything inside a website that you want it to. And what I showed here is some very basic examples. This is just, you know, small things compared to some of the major stuff you can use JavaScript for. So I hope you guys will enjoy this series and I will see you guys next time.